So, hello everyone, let's get straight into this. My name, of course, is Dolain Mavaro, and this is Ayon Layat Bruel, who we're finishing off a quest for her, as she needs some help with balancing the books 10 out of 10. I want to be sure that you understand the basics of business and production, though, Delane. I have a small antimatter hybrid charge blueprint here that I'd like you to have. If you can build me 5,000 units of antimatter S and demonstrate that you understand how to produce from blueprints, then I will happily call your training a complete success. The rest of the production runs are on the blueprint of yours. To, you, the rest of the production runs on the blueprint are yours to do as you please. Additionally, I have an industrial vessel here for you as one final reward: a sturdy Galente Iteron. It should prove invaluable when you're moving goods about systems. Are you ready to pass your final test? Accept. So you're going to get the following item will be granted to you: one blueprint of antimatter charge, 200 runs, copy. Material level 5, basically, you'll get that, you'll get a ship and some money if you complete it quick. Right. The following item was granted to you. Okay. So, let's take our time with this, eh? Manufacturing. Almost all ships and items in New Eden are manufactured by player industrialists. To manufacture an item or ship, you require materials or blueprint. A factory slot and skill quals. Blueprints can be purchased, materials can be collected, reprocess, remining, reprocessing, pre processing, or alternatively bought off the market. Factory slots can be found in the science and industry station service of the select stations. Building. Access a, the bill of materials. Why click on it? Okay, in the blueprint show info. Bill of materials, industry level one. So you're going to have to have certain skills or higher up, I would presume. You also need Noxium, Pyrite, and Tritanium. Okay. And material before proceeding, relocate along with a blueprint and materials to a station with science and industry station services. Okay. What do I need? <laughs> Once you've relocated to a station, equipped. That's how I that way. What do do? Science and industry. Blueprints. Got that right click on it and sh so right click the blueprint and select manufacturing hmm. the manufacturing window allows you to set various parameters installation uh, pick one. assembly line you selected oh we haven't got one ah that can't be good. Pick one assembly line. And you have to wait. Urgh. Okay. This is a bit interesting. Blueprint. This is the blueprint you are about to use for manufacturing. So, blueprint. Where are we? That's your blueprint. Input my hanger. Output my hanger. Runs one. Next. Runs. This is how many batches you want to produce. When you are producing modules or ships, this will always be one item per batch. Smaller items, such as ammo, can be 100 items per batch. Start by start processing. By okay. See, I can't pick an installation without having to wait half an hour. Ah, and you have to, you have to pay in isk and cost per hour. So. Yeah, this one is not really any good. Right. So, I'm just trying to think how to explain this, really. There's no way about me explaining it. You'd have to wait to manufacture it, which is a bit sucky. So, what do we actually ultimately need to do for this mission? No, 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 not showing fair. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of my depth here. <laughs> 
Right, so we need to make, we need some antimatter charge S. So ideally what you would do, I guess easy enough to say is, let's go back into industry. Right, click on it, manufacturing, pick your installation point, come back after a while. It's going to cost you that much an hour for each run, or for how much it takes an hour, and install cost. And then you'll tell it what's a blueprint, input, output, and how many runs. And then I presume we put it into your hangar. So what we'll do, hopefully that helps you understand a little bit. Sorry I can't physically show you right now, it's just, <laughs> it's hard to do when, your time's on the, when you've not got much time on the clock to record. So once you've done that, I'll assume that you've picked your installation, set your blueprint, and the production. You've got your 5,000 antimatter charge. Okay. And you should now have a window quoting you the total production material. So it'll tell you how much you need. So you'll have, this will involve your mining. Uh, and you can, you can actually monitor your jobs anywhere. And you can see them in this window here. Installations. So at the moment everyone's using them, so there's not much you can really do. When the job is to start ready, you can finish it by clicking the deliver button. So you have to click the deliver button once you've done. Uh, at the bottom window you see information. Jobs TTC. Or time to completion, which tells you how much time you have left. So jobs don't get done automatically. So you have to, they get things quickly, so you have to keep an eye on that. That was a really crappy explanation, I do apologise, but it's going to take too long for the scope of this video. And I want to get through and enjoy, so let's buy some antimatter charges. Antimatter charge. We'll buy 5,000. Why not? 160,000. I mean, you can just do that. If you want. You are allowed to do whatever you want to do. Right, so that should be in my ship now. Hey. Eh? Oh, sorry, the person didn't have that much. Oh, no, okay. I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. See, this is why you got to look at what you're doing. So this person's got enough here. Hee <laughs> hee. And I'll save a bit of money in the process. So that should... Should. Nova Frost, stop asking me comments. And <laughs> oh, I love you. Okay, it's a completed mission. Well done, Delane. Here is your Iteron. As promised, use it well. I have had the word of my superiors and have agreed to officially recognise all the work you've done for the Galante. From here, my captain dear friend, you have many choices about where to go. I know that word of your reliability and good business sense has already spread through the world, through the, the Federation. You should, have, you should have to look hard to find more work with, with other agents if that is how you want to proceed. Of course you know how to produce goods now, but with patience, a good eye for opportunities, you can find a niche in the market and make your first real profit. Whatever you decide to pursue, I wish you luck on it, thank you for all your help, congrats on passing your business and training, and good luck out there. You little scallywag. Did I get a ship? I didn't get my ship yet. Did I? There we go. With an estimated value of half a million isk. And she's done. I think that's a nice short episode, but I'll probably bump this one out at the same time as the previous one. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Sorry, I just think I'm a little bit out of my depth sometimes with things, and I was going to readjust and plan for that. So guys, have a good day, have a good night. Thanks for watching EVE Online, and I'll see you again next time. Adios.